King's Indian Defense, Petrosian Variation, Main Line, 8.B3 and G4. Sharp a back and forth game where both players had chances. That game was pretty competitive. Black had a good opening, but White was on another level. White was a cut above Black in the middle game. The Reedy is a less common but flexible opening that controls the center with the knight before committing a pawn. The d5 and e4 squares are under the control of nf6, which advances the knight into the center. c4 has control over the crucial d5 square. The bishop will be better off as a result of this. The d5 and e4 squares are under the control of nc3, which advances the knight into the center. Fianchetto move bg7 places the bishop on the long diagonal. The bishop is prepared to grow into a functional square. The bishop will be better off as a result of this. The bishop is prepared to grow into a functional square. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling king side tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. B2 develops the light squared bishop and prepares to castle king side. E5 takes space in the center and immediately attacks the d4 pawn. D5 takes space in the center and controls the important e6 and c6 squares. Nbd7 develops the knight and prepares nc5. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. This attacks a queen, winning a tempo when it moves away. This blocks an attack on a vulnerable queen. This moves the bishop to safety. It is the last book move. This enables the adversary to kick the knight. It is incorrect. This exposes a knight assault. It is quite good. This move puts the knight on a safer square. This threatens to win a bishop. It is excellent. This stops the opponent from being able to win a bishop. It is best. The knight can now control more squares as a result. That's good. By doing this, a queen moves off of its beginning square and into the action. It is quite good. This shifts the bishop to a square with more activity, giving it greater scope. It is quite good. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. That's good. The game was close to balanced, but now black is worse. It is a mistake. This misses a chance to improve a bishop's square and broaden its range. It falls flat. Recaptures. It is ideal. That's fine. It is good. This misses an opportunity to centralize a knight so it controls more squares. It is a mistake. This overlooks an opportunity to increase a bishop's scope by moving it to a better square. It is a miss. This misses an opportunity to increase a bishop's scope by moving it to a better square. It is an inaccuracy. The knight can now control more squares as a result. This poses a threat to an outpost manned by a knight. That's good. This threatens to take an outpost with a bishop. This permits the opponent to take an outpost with a knight. It is an inaccuracy. The knight is now located at an outpost, a safe area inside the enemy's territory. It is ideal. The bishop now occupies an outpost, a secure square in the opponent's territory. It is best. This misses an opportunity to strike at the center with a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. This exchange is fair. It is quite good. Backs off. It is ideal. Among the best actions. It is quite good. This develops a rook off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is good. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. That leaves a pawn vulnerable to being captured. This threatens to fork pieces. It is an inaccuracy. This overlooks an opportunity to capture a vulnerable pawn. This permits the opponent to reveal an attack on a pawn. It is a miss. This reveals an attack on a pawn. It is best. This prevents an assault on a pawn that may have been taken. It is quite good. 
That's a decent move. That's good. The piece both makes a capture and defends a newly threatened piece. It is best. This removes the attacking pawn. This threatens to win a knight. It is best. This mobilizes the knight, allowing it to control more of the board. It is good. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This is winning stuff. It is ideal. That was a great move and very hard to find. It is brilliant. Recaptures. It is ideal. Backs off. It is quite good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. There was only one good move in that position. This ignores an opportunity to take an open file with a rook. It is a mistake. Equality is within reach, but this move doesn't get there. There was only one good move there. This overlooks an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is a miss. That was a truly amazing move. This was a game-changing move, giving white a winning position. It is brilliant. This moves the checking rook farther away. It is ideal. That was a great move and very hard to find. It is brilliant. A very strong play. It is excellent. That gets you a knight. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. Recaptures. White is ahead at this point in the end game. It is ideal. By growing a queen from its beginning square, this activates the queen. It is ideal. This avoids the queen's check. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. This steps away from the checking queen. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This divides up parts by launching multiple attacks at once. It is ideal. This avoids the queen's check. It is ideal. A solid choice. It is excellent. This steps away from the checking queen. It is best. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This avoids the queen's check. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This prevents a rival rook from checking. It is ideal. This allows the opponent to play checkmate. It is a mistake. This leads to losing material. It is a miss sharp a back and forth game where both players had chances. That game was pretty competitive. Black had a good opening, but white was on another level. White was a cut above black in the middle game.